lawn doing with all of this rain? If you live in the city of Tulsa, there are requirements for how you have to keep your lawn cut and in order. The city Council is trying to make sure it holds city owned property to that same standard. Two works for you reporter Joe Hankey live with what the city is doing. Joe. Well, Stephen, this median here in Tulsa is uh, looking all right. It could use a little trim. And at the same time, city councilors are finalizing their latest budget, and they want to find a little bit of extra cash so city crews can mow city property more often. From out of control grass to the well kept, you can find it all on city property around Tulsa. And city councilor Anna America says Tulsa needs to find a way to keep every blade looking sharp. The city has a responsibility to take care of our property uh, in the same way that we expect citizens to take care of their property. Right now, the city spends around $650,000 to mow its grass seven times a year or every 30 days during the necessary seasons. Councilors want to find money in the city's next budget to mow 10 times a year or roughly every 15 to 21 days when needed. Especially when you have a spring like this and a, a wetter than normal year, seven times a year is not enough. But councilors are also looking in the long term at expanding alternatives to planting and mowing grass, which they already take advantage of and cost the city no money to maintain. We don't want to push this responsibility onto citizens, but where you have creative ways like that, that you can engage citizens and engage nonprofits that want to be a part of that, I think that's another way we can save some money. Two examples are wildflower beds on top of medians around Tulsa from the Tulsa Beautification Foundation. And in several other places, the nonprofit Up With Trees, which America used to be the executive director of, maintaining medians with the help of volunteers. Those are completely, those are city medians, but the community is working together with that nonprofit so the city doesn't have any cost there. So whether by paying for it out of the city budget or with helping hands, city councilors are trying to find ways to cut down the issue before it grows into a big problem. Now I'm told if the city council does increase its mowing schedule from seven times to ten times a year, estimates right now show it could cost around an extra $180,000. The city council and the mayor's office needs to finalize their latest budget by June 23rd. Reporting live in downtown tonight, Joe Hankey, 2 News works for you.